Paddy moves to the parboiling section. Here, storage tanks hold the paddy until it is cooked and dried. As the process continues, it is necessary to test for moisture. Moisture is one thing we, we determine before we even process the paddy because the moisture will help us to know the temperature or the parameters to use during the processes. If the moisture is high, we have to reduce the temperature we use to soak the paddy. So moisture is one thing we always test. Even our, at our finished product, we have to test the moisture so that the storage, you consumer, you, it, you won't buy the rice. Within a short period, you will now start having problem with the rice. Beside the parboiling section is where the heat is produced. Two sources of fuel are used here. Firewood gotten from the area and husk generated from producing rice. Husk is a byproduct from the paddy. It's the outer kernel. Husk is one thing we produce here, it's a byproduct. And then we also convert it as a raw material for the source of fuel for our furnace and our boiler. This gener the boiler generates steam, which used to cook the paddy. And then the furnace generates temperature to dry the paddy. It's been used and has burnt out, it's still useful as manure for farmers, forming a complete cycle. The heat generated also serves the dryer. Storage tanks large enough to hold 80 tons of rice, which is their daily production, is where the dry paddy stays until it's moved to the final production section. The paddy is separated from the rice through well thought out processes. In a part, the broken grains are removed. In another, discolored grains are fished out, while in yet another, any impurity which might have escaped through is removed. Then comes the packaging. 
One of the federal government's pride and strategy to ban importation of rice in Nigeria, ebony rice. We can produce up to three trucks a day, that is 30, 30 tons, 90 tons a day. As they produce, the market has already been waiting, so trucks are loaded and directed to satisfy the people's demand. Away from rice, investing in the future is the reason for a memorandum of understanding signed between the Bank of Industry and the National Youth Service Corps. The Bank of Industry and National Youth Service Corps have found a common passion, which is to train and empower core members in various entrepreneurial skills. They meet in the Federal Capital Territory to articulate and document this common ground with the potential beneficiaries as witnesses and with high expectation. The NYIC is already busy along this line, which is the first attraction to the Bank of Industry. When we approached the NYIC, it was not out of the blues. The NYIC Director General and the Director of SAED, uh, Mrs. Mary Dan Abia, had invited the Bank of Industry to actually participate on some of the programs that they had been doing. At first, we were not. We, we looked at it with a little bit of suspicion. We weren't sure what kind of skills were being acquired. Secondly, if we, they were able to even access any fund from the Bank of Industry, uh, but we sent people as we usually do. And surprisingly, the quality of the products that came out of your your, your core members was amazing. One. We felt from that point on that we should send people all the time to your uh, skills acquisition graduation. And after some time, I, I believe we started talking about members of the BOI team coming to actually talk to the team members about how to access funding. Because it is one thing to acquire skills, it is another to know what the bankers need. Because usually there's a disconnect between somebody, an entrepreneur who's just started, and what the bankers are looking for. On our part, we are going to do everything possible to fulfill our own responsibilities so that we will all sing together to the success of the two key programs, the Village Renewal Program, as well as the Skill Acquisition and Entrepreneurship Development. One of the products of the initial effort stands proudly today as an entrepreneur making cassava flakes. I was invited for uh, an exhibition program when uh, Saeed was doing the one year anniversary. That was where the, uh, the Bank of Industry, the representative of the Bank of Industry, saw me and they encouraged me. And to the of God today, I was able to access uh, a fund worth uh, over 3.8 million naira from them. And uh, <laughs> now um, I've made all the contacts, and I'm now waiting for my machine to come down to my, uh, my site, which I'll be located in my factory at Long Water. Stories like Simon's is expected to become common as BOI and NYSE formally sign an MOU to multiply entrepreneurial skills among coppers with a lot of focus for the rural areas through the Village Renewal Program. Two things we're expecting. One is